The first season uh, was a lot of revealing blue, setup of blue, you know, asking questions, establishing mysteries. And I think, um, you know, purposely, you know, there's, there's suspense. You leave, you know, questions asked that are not necessarily answered. Certainly they can't be in, you know, the equivalent of 12, seven or eight minute episodes. So season two, you know, we came back wanting to do more than 12, 26 episodes. So I knew there was certainly, you know, enough time there to address a lot of the stuff, you know, answer all the questions or begin to answer the questions, begin to unravel the central problems of Blue's life, um, you know, why, why she does what she does for a living secretly, um, you know, what is the damage that was caused to her, caused to her by her, uh, you know, her upbringing, uh, you know, her circumstances. And, and of course, you know, the central relationship with Josh and of course Josh is growing, you know, he's almost 14 and, and uh, he's very precocious and, you know, her concerns for, for him and for his, you know, desire to know who his father is and, and, and then, you know, as part of the season. Um, so you, you try to take some of the themes of the first season and, you know, answer some of the questions, develop them, unfold them. You know, you don't want to always be done until you reach the end of something, but you can't tease things out. Quiet, guys. Action. I think the nature of, of the origins of, of Blue's relationship with the man Olsen, who is her father's age, you know, where, where that comes from, you know, was, was she, um, you know, what was the exact nature of that relationship? Of course, she was very young when they were, you know, uh, first uh, sexually involved. So clearly, you know, it's, it's not, it would be insane to say it was consensual, but you, you want to complicate things so that her, uh, emotional attachment to Olsen is, is complicated and burdensome for her. It's not, it's not all victim, it's not all hatred, you know, she has very mixed feelings towards him, although, you know, what he did to her at that age was inexcusable. Um, but still the, the relationship is complicated and, and I think, you know, it probably explains a lot of why Blue does what she does now. Blue, of course, there, there's a problem there with, with you know, why, why she's hooking. There's a whole, you know, there's, there's, there's an unknown quantity. There's a, I don't want to say damage because I don't want to qualify it, though it may be damage. You know, the reasons why Blue lives the way she lives are part of what you'll I'll hopefully always be exploring in the series. And most of all shows us, you know, how much of her intelligence and her, her wiles and, and her exercise of power is something that, that, that she needs and, and that, you know, the escort, the, you know, the prostitution, the meeting with clients allows her to feel in control and to be in power. Let's just do one long, last one with Julia from the top, because we, we have enough of this, Marking but let's forward. just do one last one to make sure we didn't forget anything. Julia's always been very invested in, in the role and, and she was always, you know, I, I wrote to her after Blue came out and said, look, it's, very, it's been very well received and we have a lot of views and we're thinking of coming back, do you want to? And she texted right away, yes, of course. And um, so, you know, there was a question of dates and stuff, but she's, she's always been very committed and she's, you know, she's been invaluable to us, not just in Blue, but wigs in general. And so, you know, she's definitely more than just the actress in Blue. She's one of our real collaborators here on the channel. Thank you.